So whenever Bangladesh, uh, the, the sovereign of Bangladesh says that before 70, 25th March 71, we will take them back, mm -hmm. it implicitly, mm -hmm. implicitly uh, gives an assurance that after that nobody will be permitted to cross over. That's how you know, the international relations operate. Also, Mr. Uh, Surister, there's one other dimension that pre-25 March 1971 would comprise of two groups. People who have been granted citizenship, everybody before 66 becomes a citizen, right? After, after, after 1166, everybody qualifies for being considered for the grant of citizenship provided conditions are made. Those who are granted citizenship uh, would become a part of our mainstream. Those who are not granted citizenship, you can't push them out anyway because Bangladesh is not going to take them back. Jain Malod, they, it, it's not necessary for them. Their agreement is not necessary. If they are not granted citizenship, it would not be possible. That contingency may not arise because if he is unable to show that he is a foreigner, then Malod, he is a citizen of India. But, if suppose uh, uh, somebody suspects that uh, so and so is a is a Bangladeshi, it, he, I, I go to the for, uh, foreigners tribunal and say, no, you are not a foreigner. That means I am a citizen of India. If I am a foreigner before seventy one, I'll get the protection of six one six eight. And if I am declared a foreigner after twenty fifth March seventy one, then I'll have to be lot uh, as per law uh, pushed back to Bangladesh. Point. Lord, please now come to my Lord, some facts and figures. Volume 3, Lord, the affidavit filed by State of Assam, it si starts at page 969. Lord, there are several affidavits filed. <coughs> Lord, this is the affidavit dated 5th December 2014, page 969, volume 3. Lord, there are several affidavits filed by both Assam. State, state of Assam and the central government, but I am not troubling your losses with, uh, I am not going to read anything, Lord. I am just giving the details which were placed before your lordships and whatever is relevant for the present purpose and whatever may answer my lord's very pertinent queries, my lord, are, uh, I'll show. Because affidavits are very long affidavits, etc. Number of cases, my lord, just uh, Chief Justice, please. number of cases before the foreigners tribunal and their disposals. The details of cases pertaining to January 1, 66 to March 24, 71 referred to the Foreigners Tribunal between 86 to 31st July 2014 because this affidavit is filed in December 14. The, the, the figures are as on that date. Total number, which, which, of inquiries, total number of inquiries initiated for period relating to January 66 to March 71, 52 lakhs. 5 lakhs 20,438. Number of inquiries completed 5 lakh 22,326. Number of cases referred to the foreigners tribunal 42,000. Number of cases disposed of by the tribunals uh, uh, 31,105. Number of persons declared foreigners uh, for period relating to January 166 to March 24, uh, 32,969. Number of persons whose names were sent for deletion from the electoral rolls, the same number. Your Lordship knows they, they are disenfranchised from the date of the declaration. Total number of persons registered with the registering authorities, 13,914. Total number of persons declared as bona fide Indian citizens for period related to January 1, 66 to March 24, 71, 27,078. Total number of who got citizenship as of the date of this affidavit is about 27,000. So, yes, uh, and 11,000 cases are pending. 11,000 cases are pending. Now, my lord, uh, the second chart, my lord, is little alarming. Details of cases pertaining to the period from March 2571 referred to the IMD tribunal. Well, there were earlier, well, earlier there was IMD tribunal, well, which was set aside in Sonowal judgment, with which your lordships are not concerned, but there was a tribunal. 
to IMD tribunal and subsequently transferred to foreigners tribunal after scrapping of IMDT Act. Plus scrapping means it was declared unconstitutional uh, between 83 to July 31, 2014. Total number of inquiries initiated on or after March 25, 71. Uh, 76 lakh 7, uh, I'm sorry, 7 lakh 67,927. Then, two, number of inquiries completed under IMD Act and well, total uh, 7 lakh 44,820. Number of cases referred to IMD tribunal or foreigners tribunal 41,000. Uh, 258. Number of cases disposed of by the IMD tribunal or foreigners tribunal 1,87,294. Number of persons declared foreigners, illegal immigrants on or after March 25, 71, 35,000. Number of persons whose names were sent for deletion from electoral rolls 35,969. Then total number of persons declared as bona fide Indian citizens on or after March 25, 1971, 64,594. I'll just clarify this. Lord, they may be falling within 6A, but their decision comes late. Foreigners Tribunal Lord, took decision late or there may be a challenge before the High Court, Supreme Court, remand, etc., etc. The total number of cases where alleged persons are not traceable, that is 53,000. Because they enter from Assam and Malot spread all over. Mr. Divan was Malot, that's why pointing out that they have settled in Delhi. Some of them have Malot uh, gone as back as far as Malot Jammu and Kashmir, etc. Then total number of persons deported, 2,447. Total number of cases pending before the tribunals, you know, 2 lakh 31,000. You know, this needs to be, you know, now uh, subsequent affidavit says that we have increased the number of tribunals, etc. But you know, something more definitely needs to be done. I you will know, not uh, defend the undefendable. Now your lordships may you know, come to the center's affidavit dated 5th December 14. This affidavit of Jodip Shukla is of what date? 5th December 2014. Earlier one, which you showed us, right? Earlier one. The previous Earlier, one. Both are of the same date. 5th December 2014 and center's affidavit is 5th December 2014. I'll just glance through your lordships, my lord, take your lordships uh, through, my lord, just glancing, my lord. Just, my lord, see the heading, my lord, that's all. Action plan for detection and deportation of illegal migrants in Assam and effective guarding of India-Bangladesh border. Then detection of illegal migrants. Procedure for detection of pre-71. So it's substantially the same we have pointed out. Procedure for detection. I'm going fast, my lord, so that it, it's not necessary, my lord. Therefore, procedure for detection post-71. There are, my Lord, what is the procedure put in place? Then deportation of declared illegal migrants. Then strengthening of foreign tribunals. That your losses would find at 1185. Uh, my Lord Justice Sundaresh. Yes. Then, my Lord, next page. Uh, detection of names of declared illegal migrants from the, I'm sorry, deletion of names of declared illegal mi migrants from electoral rolls. Then, my Lord, National Register of Citizenship in Assam, then effective border guarding for check and control of illegal immigration. It's a porous border. Now, my lord, fencing is done. There is guarding. There is a uh, lot uh, light shades, my lord, so that uh, the infiltration still continues, my lord, which is being sought to be prevented. My lord, rest, my lord, is the steps which we have taken, my lord, to ensure that there is less uh, infiltration. So this, but data, would... this data is of 2014. What yes. is the present situation? How many matters are pending before the foreigners' tribunals? Lord, I... We need that Maybe from the can... state of Assam. The Advocate General can give us up-to-date data. So that will indicate 
2 lakhs 13,000 cases were pending in 2 lakhs 31,000 in 2014. What is the progress? How many have been disposed of? Uh, what is the action which we are taking? Because now post 71, 6A constitutional validity is one aspect. Yes, yes. But Mr. Solicitor, as you also say, say what Mr. Diwan has argued, what Mr. K. N. Chaudhary has argued, and Mr. Ansaria, you are also uh, not not denying the 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 gravity of the problem as it exists. It is a serious problem. So serious. we want to know from the government of India what are we doing now because this is not just about changing the demographics of Assam. That's one aspect, the cultural aspect which Mr. Diwan highlighted. <laughs> But also the burden on the existing resources. Sources, my lord, and and, and the, those who should go to Indian citizens are, my lord, now being unauthorizedly shared by someone who comes only to share the resources. And people go from here to Mumbai. People got citizenship in the pre-1166 category. How many people have got citizenship, say, with the cutoff date as 1166? How many people have got citizenship 1166-25371? And the third period is post 25371. Well, the question of citizenship doesn't that doesn't arise at all. Yes, I'll, I'll... because post 25371, government has to be extremely serious about what is happening on the ground. Yes, they may succeed on their constitutional challenge. They may not succeed, but. This what is they are saying, problem. what they are saying has a great deal of substance, not only in relation to Assam, but for the rest of the country as well. Yeah, because, Lord, they are not coming here because they are persecuted or there is some problem. There. Yes. Of how many people have entered post 25 March 1971? Approximately. Approximately. Because do we have any estimate of that in India? To how many matters are pending as we post to the Advocate Journal? How many matters are pending before the tribunals. tribunal? How many tribunals do we have? Because frankly, we will deal with the issue of constitutional validity with something which we have to consider. I mean, that's a very weighty argument. But assuming everything that we affirm the validity of 6A, what are we doing post-1971? 